Some of the challenges that we're trying to overcome include broadening the talent pool, so looking at who's interested in careers in science and bioengineering, also looking at challenges around access to international talent, and looking at things like the policies on immigration and visas, also thinking about those who are career changing, so those who've been in the tech industry who might want to apply those skills to our sector. One of the projects that we've worked on this year with BIA is the Diversity and Inclusion Report. This has provided a really sound evidence base for a number of different projects on attracting talent and skills to the sector. The Big Impact Campaign looks at attracting tech talent to come and work within life sciences and our Women in Biotech Mentoring Programme supporting women in senior leadership roles. I would recommend a career in this industry. It's um, it's incredibly supportive, there's many different uh, avenues to go down for training or even just branching out from your career into different aspects um, and yeah it's just the support is incredible. It would be really good if we could encourage people to stay in our graduate programmes and to realise that by doing science and by doing this kind of applied science you can really make a difference and these careers can be very rewarding in terms of having impact on the world. How do we maintain this idea that science is cool, but also is impactful? The primary benefit is connections, is connecting people across three generations. We have three generations here now. Me, later generation, mid-generation, and an early generation. Connecting people across that is fantastic for cross-fertilizing ideas and mentoring and all sorts of things like that.